We are at Lafayette number two, everybody. Cannot get into Lafayette number one for repairs, has been for a while, so let's check out number two. Yeah, speaking of repairs, they are needed here. Look at that. We are on the main drag. You know, these cemeteries are interesting. They're only about a block. They're all like this, like city block. They're little and they're all, they're all together, many of them. Now this one is not, not as, things are a little more run down here. compared to like Metairie or the Catholic the Catholic cemeteries. Now I guess this is not a Catholic cemetery. I have to look into that. So there you go. I was talking about that. How the Catholic cemeteries maintain more of course the private cemeteries it's potluck. Interesting architecture. I've seen a lot of this kind of stone granite castle. It's like a castle look. Oh, look at that. That's probably a, probably an association crypt. Yeah. Just look at all those crypts. Wow. Yeah, if you buy into the association, you have you have a grave, you or not a grave, you have you have a crypt at least for a year, <laughs> a year and a day. Yeah, there's a lot of associations here. Look at that. Look at this Protestant orphans home. Looks like a a big plot here. But I only see four names on there. Huge, huge plot. There have to, there has to be other people, but no inscriptions other than those those four, which I'll zoom in on. 1916, 1932. If you look at the dates, yeah, it's it's kids, one infant, one year old on the right, and on the left, yeah, very all four kids, four kids. Here's your step grapes. You're here. Boy, this is old stuff. Look at the disrepair. It's a Woodman of the World monument that's toppled over. These are interesting. They almost look like beds. Look at those crypts. No, no markings. A year and a day. Well, I'm betting they're 
they were in there a lot longer with no one to follow, I mean. Yeah, nobody's, there's, there's very little, if any, care going on here. They mow the lawn, looks like. Look at that. That's about to fall over. Boy, you don't want to walk close to that. Just think, all of the people buried here. I should say, buried and interred. So that shows you how granite holds up compared to marble. Here is the Friendship Association. Organized May 15th, 1887. 1887. Wow. This is Association Row here. Rather sad. All the plant life growing. at that. Who were they? What were their stories, I wonder? Anderson. Anderson family. Pearl doorknob. It's like porcelain glass. Vaulted ceiling. Well, there are some names here, and they have these shelves. Hubert Shirley. I believe that's French. You don't have to be a genius to figure that out. Let's take a shortcut. Tight squeeze, guys. Tight squeeze. All right, we made it. What do we have here? That's one of the few that's been repainted lately. That's kind of a tradition here, painting white. what grows from within. Conch shells, very old. Look at that. Nineteen forty four. 
Uh, at least two died in 44 there. Boy, this place is weathered. Of course, it's really old. The Lafayette cemeteries, I could, again, couldn't get in one. One looks very intriguing. Totally closed down. But a lot of the musicians, the jazz musicians, buried in these Lafayette cemeteries. And it is said that there's a lot of, been a lot of vandalism. People looking for rings and jewelry. Of course, the jazz musicians were, many were buried with their price, their, their I don't want to say priceless, but for them, they're priceless. Might be a ring or a necklace. So people were trying to steal grave robbers. If you go to St. Louis number two or three or four, I don't know if there's a four, or St. Patrick, I should say St. Louis cemeteries, they're mobbed with people. So I say, if you want to come somewhere where you're alone, Lafayette, number two, is the place to go. There's nobody here but us, which I like. Look at this, how grand. Imagine in its day, all the flowers and the family was here. Did they ever imagine that it would just turn into this? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's a monument toppled over there. Spanning across that corridor. So that you can show you're walking down that little corridor sure that happened in a storm. Must have taken a lot to blow that over. Looks like somebody tried to fix it a while back, at least while it was standing with the metal bands. Look at that house. All right, gimbal. Neat. Creole. It's another one. Some massive, massive tombstones. Look at the curved cement work. A lot of workmanship went into these back one. Look at that. Hmm. Let's go down the back alley. Watch out for those tombstones. Don't touch those. They might fall on you. Oh, this is really sad. That's a veteran, Walter Jones Broden, passed in 1961, Reverend. How is that just laying here, dumped? Boy, oh boy, this trip, this trip to the south, I've seen so much, so much desecration and just neglect. single crypts call these like oven crypts crypts all right guys I think that is going to do it here at Lafayette kind of depressing this one but Love the history, a lot of names, a lot of 
faces, a lot of stories here that will be never told. All right, stay with me.